welcome back to another Quickie with Matt. As always, I'm Matt from Cleveland Sex Therapy. I'm a licensed clinical therapist and ASEX certified sex therapist. Today, we are tackling a topic that impacts all male identified persons' sexual well being. Toxic masculinity and sex negativity. These issues often show up in my office and can be really detrimental to a healthy sexual expression. So in this video, I'm sharing three strategies to help fight against toxic masculinity and sex negativity. First, educate yourself and challenge harmful beliefs. Toxic masculinity promotes this strict, stereotypical view of what it means to be male, which often leads to emotional repression and aggression. On the other hand, sex negativity involves viewing sex as inherently dirty and shameful. Educating yourself on these concepts and recognizing the influence they have on you is your first step to confronting them. Read books, listen to podcasts, and engage with content that promotes healthy, inclusive views of masculine sexuality. Second, practice open and honest communication. Toxic masculinity often discourages men from being vulnerable. They are not taught to discuss their feelings or their emotions, and this can really lead them down this path of misunderstandings and unmet needs in their relationships. By fostering open communication with your partner, you can create a safe space where both of you can express your desires and boundaries without judgment. This not only enhances intimacy, but can also help dismantle the structures that surround toxic masculinity and sex negativity. Finally, embrace sex positivity and self-compassion. Sex positivity is the belief that all consensual sexual activities are fundamentally healthy and should be supported. This involves accepting your own sexual desires and not shaming others for theirs. Practicing self-compassion just means being kind to yourself and rejecting the internalized shame that accompanies toxic masculinity and sex negativity. Allow yourself to explore and enjoy your sexuality in a way that feels right for you, free from societal expectations and judgments. That's it. Thanks for hanging with me for another quickie. I'm curious, how do you handle toxic masculinity and sex negativity? I'd love to hear, so comment down below. Until next time.